We thought we we're going to have Rooty Mail with all the lads in here because we all reckon we can take you. Pat the chat. Have a crack at him. Pat the chat saying loads and giving it fucking large. When I go into a pub, I've got to try and convince these people that they can beat me. But really, it's just their greed, which is their downfall. <laughs> Being good at pool is just the beginning. You've got to be a student of life. And the study of human nature. I'm Pat. I haven't worked for years. I've been living off my wits for 13, 14 years now. I haven't had to sign on, which I'm quite proud of. I'm what's regarded as a pool hustler. The biggest scam I've probably had is about 10 years ago, where I played a player, he had a millionaire backing him. I played him for seven thousand pounds. I put up seven thousand. He put seven thousand up for me. I should say my brother and a few friends put up seven thousand for me. I played him, and that was the most I've ever won. Fourteen thousand in the one day's work. Pat the chat is a nickname I was given from a lot of the players around the full circuit. Typical day for me. Probably get up about. Half eight in the morning, go and get some papers. I'd walk around, find a few pubs, just go in there, have a couple of drinks. If there's a few punters there, I'll have a game with them, try and make some money. Within an hour, I'll be to another pub. Then I'll finish probably about eight o'clock, nine o'clock at night. Then I'll come to the local club and just have a few drinks there with all the beer money paid for during the day. I've won some professional tournaments. I've just won the Jersey Open, Northern Ireland professional champion. I was also the European speedball champion. The good thing about hustling is my brother, which he taught me a lot about the game and people's characters, what to look out for, whether someone's drunk. I taught Pat the human nature side of the game. Uh, I did come on Pat's bets when he first started. One that really sticks in my mind was I put the money up against my better judgment, £350. After the first two frames, I realised I'd lost £350. I think the best comeback I've seen was when Pat was playing for 5000 As I walked through the door, I eyes met. He looked away and I knew it was a problem straight away. We went off for a couple of minutes, settled him down, looked for his faults, and we found him. And uh, we walked out £5,000 to Richard. Here's another one of my boys. This one's my prodigy. This is Kelvin, he's only 18. As soon as I seen Kelvin play, I thought I, I knew the talent was there, and I, I know that I can't do this all my life. When I first met Pat, he hustled me for a fiver, then a tenner, and then fifty pound, and I was not too happy. He's got this pride thing about him, where he's got to win all the time. But as a hustler, you've got to forget about pride. You've got to lose to people before you can win. I've been on a hustling trip with Pat to Southport, uh, played with Blake for 200 pounds. I told him to lose the game. Just lose the game and plan against an alternate, and that's something that's not really keen on the The fella started giving Kelvin a little bit of stick. Kelvin then went out of the hustling mode and started cutting everything left, right, and centre. He took the money off him. Kelvin comes up to me all happy. Wasn't too happy about it. Uh, I was a bit too keen, really. Uh, I should have listened to Pat. But my idea is, it's cost me 800. Really, we fell out about that. If he'd have lost the first 200 pounds, I would have got another game for a thousand pounds. I don't like losing, and I'm and I'm not too happy about losing. I work on my own sometimes when I'm going out, but I have got a friend Gary who works with me. We'll be going in, probably starting off with maybe a few games of doubles, pound or two pound a man. Then maybe we play each other, we lose to each other, see who's watching, and maybe we get a few quid that way. What happens is we're like we're going to the pub. We start playing each other together. That's when, if we're in a good pub, where the players are quite good, as soon as they see the money changing hands between me and Gary, that's when they're moving on us. So we don't need to hustle down. Had enough. Too good, too good. You just turn yourself into an actor. I was a postman till last week. Yeah? Mm. They sacked me. Because I had nine months off sick for a year. Like, what was your name wrong with that? Acting drunk's a good one. Why well, red? Yeah. Look, stagger around the table, doesn't go amiss. Sorry. Sorry. After you've won a few quid, you say, right, what I'll do, I feel bad about taking your money, so what I'll do is I'll give you a chance to give you your money back. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. You want to put a fiver up, I'll put a tenner up. And then you start giving them odds, which 
It's neither here nor there. They still can't win anyway. I play uh, best of three for a tenner. Give me two to one. If you lose, you've got to give me 20. If I win, I'll give you a tenner. I was born a hustler, and I'll always be a hustler. The next time you see someone like me walk into your local, watch out, because you could be next. Right, lads, another successful night. I think we copped about... Well, there's plenty of 20s there, about 150 quid. That'll pay for the beer tonight, eh? It's nice, this colour of money. Right, we're on now. I'm going to go to a pub now and get drunk on all them stupid students, and I'll probably be back next week, and they'll still be wanting to play for more. Adios. Yeah. Right, so here we are on the real hustle, and I'm here with Pat the Chat. Mr. Uster Supreme, so they say. Pat, how are you going? Nice to have you. So what, did the lads give you a bit of a beating in? Uh, Robbie beat me. The gov, oh, hey. the gov gave me a close game, but he said that he let me win. Oh, he let you win, right. So I'm looking for a bit of revenge. Right, so I'm going to sort him out right about now. Two of them. Give him a real kind of deal, I'll sort him right out. I bet it's because you're short, innit? That's why. Uh, that's why you get, that's why you got the upper hand, innit, mate? Well, Going on about the ugly part, but small <laughs> and ugly people. Have you ever, so you're Austin, so have you ever like been rumbled like you know what I mean? Like fans you out in it, and they all start going dark and you off again. Only once, about twelve years ago, where I went into a club, like seedy little place, with a pool table. So me and my mate went in, we had about three hundred quid. Right. So started playing, won about seven hundred, but as this happened, the fella walked in right. who I'd hustled previously. <laughs> so you got rumbled, mate, you got rumbled, you got found out. So it's, it's time to bolt. But as I'm going, like one of the fellas come up to me and says, uh, thanks very much for the game, Pat. Don't forget, just leave the money before you go. <laughs> so I'm sort of, uh, yeah, as if it's a laugh or something. And I said, no, serious. So as I've gone to walk, the whole club sort of have stood up as if to say, you are leaving the money. So you can get your head kissing, what you mean? Uh, basically, yeah. So I've left the 700, Dan, which I'd won. And as I went to walk out, then it was, no, all of it, Pat. <laughs> it's just the right hand, so they took me 300 quid as well as that. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, thanks for the game, Pat. You're going to come back from Arsenal? Yeah, see you next week. And so you never went back there drinking, then, did you, mate? Uh, no, I'll give that a wife. Well, is there anybody you want to take on here? Is there anybody like you want to take on? Because my, my mates, like my next door neighbour's a bit of a pool of slain. He reckons he can do you, like, quick time, mate, in a hurry. Who's the man? Put him on. Oh, Where's my guest here? He stands like my mate here. Al? Al. How are you going? Well, Hello, stitched. Well, <laughs> what's the boy your mate? So, this is what you at. Hello, mate. You've got to play one of my right, boys, mate. Rob, uh, you beat me. <laughs> How are you, mate? Yeah. Good to see you, mate. This is Pat, yeah. This is Pat the chat. He's been running up his mouth all day, all right? I'll like, saw him out. I was my next door neighbour, by the way, so, you know, mm. there we go. A bottle of champagne's on the stakes, yeah? Well and truly stitched, isn't it? Let's get it on, baby. Let's get it on. Alright, so we're going to get it on now. Get it on. Is this a magic mushroom? <laughs> that is different class. Here we go. Here's your tails. Oh, you're out. I'm easy. He's easy, mate. Uh, hopefully he will be. Tails. Tails it is. Right, go. Rodney! Take this! I'm a flat Liam. Everybody else has. Right, well, that's a bit of a turnout going on there. And welcome, Pat, mate. No, it's not Daisy Bottle, it's not said, Al. Where's my girl, Not for me. Not it's going to be the stewish, mate. It's coming up. We'll show you right. this, Alex. And uh, coming up after some more, stay tuned after the break. We've got this coming up. We spend time with Britain's